vintage RCA Victor tube black and white portable television set. It's got a handle on top and it has a power button. Master. I wonder what that's about. It's got the dial scale for the UHF. Oh, remote control. Wow, this is a remote set. Looks like the fine tuning knob is missing. Insta picture. Insta pick. Is that like uh, uh, instant on where we have a cremated cathode, the cathode cremation CRT club? We're in that time of year where the sun is reflectydoodle.coach. So let's do our light bulb here. We'll start with 100 watts. Uh, let's see. Off, on. Ooh. Okay, that, that is bad. The power switch is bad. This is precisely why I like using the dim bulb. This... This is bad. Let's. Uh, this feels bad too. Okay, we're fairly dim. I'm going to go up to the bigger bulb. Wow, I think the I think it's there. It's just so damn dim. I I I I think this maybe I could stutter a little bit more. Maybe if I did that I could yeah. This thing just seems done worn out. I mean, that is so dim. And I don't have hardly any anything here, so... I mean, it's coming up, but man, is it dim. I bet that tube is just dead. Okay, well, I gotta say it has woken up semi nice. Wonder if it'll get channel six. Dot helicopter. Why would it have sound on some channels and not on others? Is there a way to mute the sound for the remote as it skips over those channels? Yes, it is a remote set. Yeah, it does look like it was dropped. That would have to be a pretty, pretty hard hit to cause a little low mass item like that tube to drop down. Wow, that looks completely baked. There's hardly any ghetto, ghetto, ghetto. There's hardly any ghetto. We're doing real good with the language today. There's hardly any ghetto left in this tube. 
but there's definitely a ghetto bird circling in the sky. What is this, a KCS? Here's the remote module with its germanium flavored transistors. So what is muting the sound? On some of these they have a little thing you can turn that will cause it to skip channels or mute the sound. I don't see that on this. Like this, th what is this right here? This is a trip. What am I missing here? Why does this totally mute the sound on some channels? What a, what a tacky ass setup that is. Come on, this is supposed to be made in America. That is tacky. Well, I could spray that. Um, these micro switches, they never, they never really go bad, so. Okay, so that wire there looks like it has something to do with the muting that I'm talking about. See this wire here? Come on. This wire right here that I cannot get to. This wire right here, this piece of coax, if you follow it, it comes down down here to what looks like some type of switches that probably if I short that it mutes. So how do I uh, adjust that? There has to be a way to do that from the front and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, besides the other problem is we got this noise that you hear. this. I think my solution here, because this, let's try that again. I think my solution here, because this is never going to be used with a remote control again, is to just terminate this wire uh, right here that I believe goes to the muting circuit. So that got that got rid of that, but now we still have this freaking. Or is that is that just a bad volume control? Yeah, I think maybe that's just a bad volume control. Well, I, I think I might have got lucky here. Might have. It is just a broken solder joint. The ground wire on the uh, helicopter 
lift it off from the chassis. Let me try and do this. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. So the, where the ground, the ground lead for the volume control right here is broken away. See that? That is no longer soldered to that chassis pin. So let me uh, try and solder that. So it looks like this is a KCS 180. So what this wire does, if you didn't catch it over all the noise, is there's got to be a way to do it. I just don't know how, but because it's a remote set, you don't want, of course, static when you're going from channel to channel on a ratchet tuner. So what there is is there's a mute that grounds the audio feed, the audio line, and shuts the sound up on dead channels. You know, I think Zenith had it where it would just, there's a little thing on the back there were 13 little things and you turn them and it would just skip over the dead channels. But we don't need this because this is never ever going to be used as a remote set again. Maybe volume up, volume down, but it would al always remind me. This is this special video short bus tip rolling. Okay, I loaded that up with solder. Hopefully that fixes that. I notice if you power... This thing kind of just is flaky. Okay, so this switch seems, even though I cleaned it, it seems bad. Maybe that should get bypassed. Because these micro switches, they never go bad, or very rarely. Sometimes when you power it up, the motor starts going. Well, I guess I don't like that. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? This is, looks like the power to the remote assembly. I'm going to unplug this. Um, somebody wants to use this set uh, for like a theme party and they just want it working. They're going to play um, uh, VHS on it and it'd probably be better in the... I guess parties are legal again now if you're vaccinated. In the middle of the party, uh, we probably don't want it changing channels. Also, this, this assembly up here, what this is all about is these are magnets, electromagnets that turn the volume up and down. This is a pretty cool little Twinkie right here, and I can't really... But if you see this, it, one turns the volume up and the other turns it down. So if I keep going, it'll probably turn it off. Yeah, see that turned it off. And then if you could push this side over here, it turns it on and turns the volume up. So this is kind of like a different version of what Zenith had. That's what that electromagnet's for. 
So that's kind of cool. And then of course you got the motor to change channels. But we just want a working black and white TV here. We don't want any fancy muting or the thing changing channels or anything like that. Now, plus it's not Energy Star compliant with this connected. So yeah, let's leave that disconnected. We just want an old school mechanical TV that works. And yes, this TV is instant on, so get your stupid out. This whole thing is, this whole TV is just stupid. Okay, let's see what we can find here. I guess it's got to fit in there. Well, it's not pretty, but it seems like it works. I got the rabbit ears hooked up. Let's see. Y la dieta equilibrada van a influir positivamente en tu estado de ánimo y tu nivel de energía. Entonces, uh, eh, mucha gente no está ejercitando, no está caminando, no está yendo a la playa, no está haciendo hiking, no está yendo a los gimnasios. Poco a poco estamos volviendo a recuperar poco a poco esos hábitos saludables y de otro lado también nos estamos alimentando terriblemente mal. Muchos de nosotros o comemos en exceso o si comemos, comemos cosas que están haciendo unos daño. El alimento sagrado que Dios nos regala tú why does that look like that man that looks jacked up diagnostico I think the vertical is way over adjusted I think it's like folded back up over I am trying to find, identify this set. And I don't think I'm reading this KCS 180 right. It doesn't seem like, that. it might be a 160. Uh, and this looks like this says A, model number A116. WR. There is no KCS 180. There is a KCS. KCS is uh, RCA's um, black and white chassis. There's a 160, and there's no model number that just starts with A like that. Is that AJ161? AJ161? There is an AJ161, which is 901-2. And it also looks like KCS160 is 901-2. We have a winner. It's a KCS160, not 180. Okay, so this big honker has all the factory manuals from 144 to 176. And well, looky here. There she is. Do we have a name for this thing? RCA gives these things names. And unfortunately, it does not look like I have the uh, the paper on this exact AJ161, but you know, I'm interested in uh, Dark mineral grain texture, vinyl storm gray, Turkish brown texture, vinyl iceberg white, antique roller grain texture, vinyl fog white, harvest walnut roller grain vinyl shell gray. What I'm looking for is an explanation on how to that mute thing works now that I've disabled it. 
Okay, here it is, right here. Remote control programming is preset at the factory to stop at all channels. In order to bypass any channel, depress the concentric fine-tuning control and rotate it at least three full turns in the counterclockwise direction. So that must be what locks out um, when there was no sound, that must mean it's going to skip that channel. So that's how you do it. You don't cut the wire, you just rotate the thing three times counterclockwise. But that's okay, we didn't know. I'm just going to leave it cut because uh, people don't know how to use TVs today and they might disable it, you know. They might disable the sound on channel 3 or something. Um, to reprogram a bypass channel, turn the channel selector manually to that channel and adjust the fine-tuning control for best picture and sound. Okay, that's how it works. Let's look at... Let's look at what we're in here, and we're on the Nerdgiz Nerdgasm channel. Let's look at the remote transmitter exploded view. So here's the remote, and it's like the Zenith. It's a tuning bar type deal, where the when you push a button, it whacks those resonant rods that emit a specific ultrasonic frequency that you can't use so there's the hammer spring hammer pin guide so it's totally mechanical like the zenith uh, space command it's like the zenith space command ultrasonic remote check this out here's that thing i was talking about to adjust the volume up and down See how it's got the little ratchet wheel there on the back of the volume control. And then those are the electromagnets right there. That one and that one. I found it here. So it's the, well, maybe not. AJ161WR, here it is. AJ161, it's the Wayfarer. That's what the name of this thing is, the Wayfarer. Now let's see, let's see, uh, Harvest Walnut Roller Grain Texture Vinyl Shell Gray Harvest Roller Grain Vinyl Castilian Gold Letter K indicates custom model, letter R indicates remote instrument. Let me read the description since I've run everybody off already. Car carrying handle and cord arms. Built-in dipole antenna adjustable. Instapick. When the receiver is turned off by means of the remote control hand unit, a residual AC potential remains applied to the tube filaments via the tap on the power transformer. When the power on volume up button on the hand unit is keyed, full power is restored to the instrument and the picture and sound return instantly. What is this calling this thing an instrument? So these factory service manuals are just completely awesome because they have such detailed um, everything about the set in them. I think we should take a nice close look at this luxurious roller grain vinyl decal that's so precision stuck onto the plastic case. Okay. Try and get this sort of level. Yeah, I guess I have a little bit of a fetish for dumbass marketing terms. And uh, this era, well, I guess today still is full of dumbass marketing terms. 
it's just today the dumbass marketing is used more to manipulate people than it probably was back then okay it's warming up rolling hard on the propaganda tip for the uh, roller grain wood That horizontal output tube I think is weak. See the the one I said the getter was baked on. That's weird how it opens up there. Oh, maybe I should hook the antenna up. The rabbit ears. By the way, today is, this is late June, so, you know, it's possible, no, late May? I think it's late May, yeah. I might, this video might not be out for a while. Hey, what happened here? Because I had channel six earlier. That's got to be it. Maybe I should hook the antenna up to the VHF, not the UHF. Encuentra los nuevos capítulos y reflexiona con cada tema. Otro podcast que estoy segura que les ayudará muchísimo, porque es un tema que todos necesitamos, es el de Heridos y Sanados, con Eduardo y Patricia. Son seis capítulos que te ayudarán mucho a recuperarte de las pérdidas, saber sobrellevar, sanar y atender el duelo generado por las heridas emocionales y a enfrentar también las adversidades ocasionadas por esta pandemia que nos ha cambiado la vida a todos. Y para terminar nuestro programa, ¿qué te parece aprender ahora sobre la nutrición del cuerpo y del alma? Sigue este podcast con María Eugenia Lozano, una nutrióloga que te orienta a alimentar tu cuerpo de manera sencilla y ocuparse también del alimento del alma. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to look like that. The, the shading on this shading right here is blanking from the camera, but I, I don't think... Guadalupe that... Radio. Hola, ¿qué tal? Pues el gusto es mío, es un placer estar con I don't think ustedes. that's supposed to look like that. María Eugenia, sabemos que eres nutrióloga, pero ¿cómo se te ocurrió orientar también sobre el alimento del alma? Bueno, pues a mí se me ocurrió porque viendo los casos de las personas so you get K Jazz and Frank Sinatra if you turn it like that. Entonces muchas personas que tienen rencores, odio, resentimientos, corajes, muchas ansiedades, muchos temores, pues eso por por que I'm gonna hook the generator up to it. That does not look right. También implicación en la salud física. Entonces es por eso que no podemos separarlos. Debemos también de nutrir el alma, de estar cerca de Dios, de tener fe, de tener paz y aparte nutrir la parte del cuerpo. Pero pues ahora sí que no se puede separar una de la otra. ¿Y cómo vinculas ambos temas? Pues mira, lo que hacemos en los bueno estos son podcasts. En estos podcasts. Huh. That looks that's pretty freaking cool actually. Uh I would say the horizontal frequency is way off. I mean that's like super cool, kinda. Do I even have that much adjustment on the horizontal frequency that is so cool I hate to get rid of that let's see uh, also look at how coarse the lines are vertically 
Okay, that's contrast. It's vertical. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's a good picture. Except the... Um, to adjust the horizontal, I mean the vertical deflection a little bit. Actually has an excellent picture. Look at that. Uh, it's a little bit too much on the bottom. I think I need to open it up. Okay, that's adjusting the bottom. There we go. Let's open it up like that. Pull the bottom up a little bit. Now let's go back to the circle. The circle or give the circle will uh, that's badass. Okay, what's that about? Is that about a uh, dirty pot? Is that what that's about? Dirty vertical size? Yeah, I think it is. All right, look at that. Yeah, dirty vertical size and linearity pots will cause it to twerk. Bendición. Hemos disfrutado tanto y podemos enterarnos de tantas cosas que tenemos en Guadalupe Radio. Este es el tiempo en que vamos a entrar en la fase de orar por todas tus necesidades. Esperemos que ustedes se hayan conectado con nosotros, que hayan hecho sus peticiones, las que voy a ir leyendo cada uno. Estás a tiempo si quieres enviarnos tu mensaje de petición de oración. Eh, ahí vamos dispuesto a orar por ti. Eh, estamos need, hablando. A little bit shy at the top vamos a estar hablando here. durante todos tres días, hoy, mañana y el jueves, sobre un tema la transformación en Jesús, en Cristo Jesús. Y decíamos eh, ya como manera de resumen que el, el, el Espíritu Santo tiene una misión. ¿Y cuál es la misión que tiene el Espíritu Santo en, en tu vida? Es de Let me get the converter box and we'll watch decía, some TV. Que nos va a enriquecer muchísimo para vivir en victoria. Okay. Quiero comenzar. has taken her crusade for mental health awareness all the way to Congress. And now she's turning her attention from the Capitol to the classroom. No, no, no. Gotta have commercials. Do we have, like, the stupid commercial channel? Let me go up to that uh, um, cringy Vietnamese thing or whatever that is, that weird, those weird cringy music videos. <laughs> 
trong cái vấn đề tình hình hiện tại kỹ thuật cao cấp như thế này là con người của chúng ta đi đến đâu or this, sẽ or the được sẽ picture and sound are out of sync and it's all over mà họ pha ở trong cái vấn đề đó đó nó có chất kim loại uống làm cách nào mà mình uống nó đơn giản nó dễ dàng chứ không phải mỗi lần mà mình cần á mình nói là thôi bây giờ áp dụng những cách thiên nhiên tận cùng Hàn Quốc thì da rất là đẹp yeah. Và ngày hôm nay à, với một cái hộp như vậy à, Ngọc coi trong này mình có bao nhiêu gói Ngọc ha Dạ yeah, để em mở ra coi nha chị à, đây, Ngọc thấy This is usually better on a color TV Because it's like The colors are so oversaturated And it, à, Em có coi cái phim mà Fan to background And uh, everything is à, like exaggerated okay. <cười> I have to do that for free Regardless of customer or friend oh. it, it just too short to to tie like charge and that's where where the, the problem comes when you have your own business if you don't do that then you lose all your time to you know 10 sub channels on this i'm sorry 11 11 sub channels been to a child was let's go and see if we can so much to choose and here we go Vâng, nó sẽ dựa vào cái... các thay đổi Nói rằng thiếu sự ủng hộ của địa phương đối với những tên mới được đề nghị Hoặc phản đối Soothing sounds the kind of thing you want going in the background when you're having a sleepless night. So, yeah, the money shot. I don't think we're going to get much of a money shot. It's not dark enough out here yet, but... Start video fade now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If this has copyright on it, I'm going to be so disappointed. Get your dancing shoes on. 